Hey guys, Class Comer here. So, like I said, I was going to meet you guys out here at the treasure chest by the humongous hill, which is this right here. And here's where it is on the map. You can see it's on the western bank. And in the top of the map, you can barely see where the house that we need to go to is. But. I'm not going to walk all the way back there since I just walked to this place now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom my way back on over to that place and I think I'm going to go ahead and take a nap at the church while I'm over there since it is the middle of the night in the game and I kind of used a bit of my HP and such to get out to that church chest. So. I'm trying out a new recording setup. Hopefully it looks better. Uh, for the longest time I've always felt like my videos had a like a white film over it because it was just too bright. So I went ahead and reduced the brightness a little bit. Hopefully I can do something about the colors because they seem a little faded. Basically, for every video before this one, I've been doing a setup where I would uh, I'd fiddle with the contrast and saturation bars and the post edit version whatever on YouTube I could you know increase the contrast and increase the color saturation which I think helped my videos but it, it still looks pretty bad especially if you full screen them like there's just a whole lot of pixelation and crap going on, I don't like it. So anyway, this is Emma's grandmother. So, she's gonna tell us a old uh, folk tale from Ascantha. While she talks, I'm gonna continue while I was talking about. I'm hoping that this video doesn't have audio desync in it, because I did a practice video some time ago for another series that may eventually get made where you could hear through the computer how far behind the audio was delayed. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen here. Uh, with any luck, this comes out looking a little better and not sounding any worse. So basically, the gist of that old lady's story is that we need to head down this way and follow this uh, riverbed bank all the way down to the end where we'll come to a uh, that humongous hill mountain thing where apparently wishes can come true and I don't remember if I shown these kissers so I'm just gonna go ahead and show this fight but um if I didn't mention before they have the sweet breath attack which of course can put you to sleep targets the entire party and dealing with it for quite some time in the game and something else that came up that I didn't have my notes I ran into some pan pipers and apparently they can call for friends they just summon another pan piper but it's something that I hadn't you know noticed or taken note of before and what is something cool to take a note about this area is you can come in contact with metal slimes, which if you've got Hatchet Man or Thunder Thrust from the Axe or Spear Skilled Trees, uh, respectively, then you can kill them pretty, well, not easily, but you have a good chance of doing it. Better than attacking normally, because th those attacks are all out, either you miss or you crit. And if you crit, then you're going to do hundreds of damage to them and they'll die. If you miss, well, you're probably going to miss anyway. Speaking of the devil, Metal Slimes. Unfortunately, I stopped one skill point away from getting Thunder Thrust for the hero. Yeah. However, that... The other attack would still be useful, because at least I'll go before they have a chance to run away. I have Yanga's Hatchet Man, that one, and Jessica and Angelo can deal with the other. 
Oh, damn. I've also had a couple of level ups recently. So, now An... Damn it. Well, that sucked. Now Angelo has 10 points in staves. So, two more points and he'll learn, uh, learn the last skill in staves I wanted to learn for a while. And then he's going to focus on bows. Uh, one more point in spears of the hero, and then I can get to focusing on swords and courage. And... Uh, Jessica should level up soon. Just some mummy boys and walking corpses from that fight. Nothing they haven't come across before, but keep in mind the walking corpses can poison you. Which means I should probably take care of that. Hmm. Although Angela doesn't have the squelch spell. Oh well. Ah, treasure! Ooh, wizard staff. I could probably give that to... Angelo or Jessica. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure who's gonna make the best use of this. I know I don't want to equip it right away. Let's see, Jessica's got 13 skill points and stats, which gives her... Oh, she could actually equip that to have more MP, but I think that's only going to raise her maximum and not affect her current. Yeah. Which means that I'd rather keep her on the whip. And if you use the Wizard Staff as an item in battle, you'll cast uh, the lowest Frizz spell. Aha! Jessica has a level. So, now I can figure out what I'm going to do with her. Oh cool, Crackle. That's helpful. So, I think I want to be focusing on whips. If I'm remembering everything right. Hmm. 43 for a next upgrade in that. And 21 for a next upgrade in stabs. So, I suppose the even distribution makes sense. Either that or focusing on one or the other. I like doing things evenly, though. While I can, anyway. Hmm. I suppose there is something to be said for dumping everything in the one area, though. Okay. Well, I completely lost track of what I was talking about. <laughs> so, let's just move onward in this place. This... The exterior of this dungeon has new enemies we can actually come across. Those weren't them, though. And basically the way this place works is you can take a very long path to the same place, or you can take a shorter path to the same place. So I'm going to try and take the short path, if I remember which way it is. I know I wanted to come in there. I think I actually want to head this way. Oh. Alright, so in this chest I can get the map of Wisher's Peak, which is going to be a big help to show what I was talking about. You can see this place only has two exits, which means I definitely want to take that rope up. Which is what it's marking as a staircase. Just come out here. And then I want to head to that, uh, that area in the middle, where it spirals up and there's an arrow. Indicating a new area to go into. The long way around would have involved going all the way around the base of the mountain, climbing up hills to get up to this point, and basically just doing a whole lot of nothing, because I don't think there are any more treasure chests to be gotten. And as you make your way up here, night falls automatically, and there's a... apparently a, a large window or what used to be a large window. And this little set of ruins, and there's nothing we can really do. So, what is cool is you can watch time pass as the moon is rising in the sky. The windows... woo, controls are kind of inverted. 
the shadow of the window lengthens. So that's gonna cause something pretty cool to happen here if we wait long enough. So in the meantime, I'll tell you guys about a couple of the games I've been playing. I mentioned in the previous episode I've been playing a lot more RPGs recently, and I mean a lot more. I've been playing the Atier or Atier or whatever Iris 3, which turned me on to the rest of Nipponichi games that they've done besides the Skya, which I didn't really care for the Skya. Too much grinding. So, I went out and got uh, Rorona, Atier Rorona for PS3, which is completely different from Iris 3, and fun. So, it's cool to have two different games in the same series to provide completely different experiences. Highly recommend them to anyone who wants to play other RPGs. So let's check what this window's shadow is doing. It's making everything all sparkly. I mean, come on, the legends can't be true, right? I mean, they're just old folk tales. That stuff doesn't come true in RPGs. Yeah, yeah, it does, actually. All the freaking time. So, a Apparently, this caused a portal into another world, which we're going to begin exploring next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. This place is actually pretty cool looking. Look at all the moons. That? That's actually pretty awesome. I don't think I ever noticed that. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad to signing out. See you guys later.